Hello, and thank you for joining us for another session in Our World in the Limelight and looking at a, a, a book that has had an influence on my thinking for a very long time. Um, I bought it when I was in my first proper job, and so that's a wee while back. And uh, it turns out, looking at the contents list, that I've forgotten more than I've remembered, but there is a particular chapter that has really impacted on my thinking ever since I read it. So uh, the book is Bully for Brontosaurus and it was written by Stephen Jay Gould. He became a, a celebration author in the 80s and 90s. Um, his wonderful writings in the journal Nature were, repeat, were republished in a number of different books and he became sort of pseudo intellectuals go to but his writing was beautiful dealing with the ideas of evolution and how they how they can be directed in different in different ways now the chapter that i'm referring to is one called of kiwi eggs and the liberty bell i really do need to reread it um, but there's a something that happened to Simon when he was in Ireland uh, visiting his sister where he wanted to know how to get to the town where she was living at the time and he asked a local how to get there and the local said well now if I was going there I would not start from here which I think is is brilliant Irish logic Basically, it would be easier for him to describe how to get there if he was starting from somewhere else because that would be a more straight line. But this is the complete underpinning of this chapter on kiwis' eggs. Because evolutionary biologists had been trying to go back to early days of kiwis and try and work out why it was they had big eggs. And they were going back from now and trying to work out how or why a kiwi would evolve to have a big egg. But what Stephen Jay Gould did was follow the Irish mantra of going, starting from a different place. And he started from why would a kiwi have a big egg? Maybe the kiwi was bigger and the kiwi shrank with the eggs staying the same size rather than a little kiwi suddenly developing to have a big egg. And you can t translate that to so many different things. So many actions in history have taken place where they didn't know what was going to happen. There may have been people who could predict them or try to predict them, but how do you know that those people are right? So to, to, be a, to be a historian or to try and work out why something or how something has developed, again, you need to start from somewhere else, not from now. Because now we have too many things that we know we understand about what, ha what happened afterwards. But history is fickle. So anyway, it's, it's a, a brilliant book. This is a short video um, just celebrating the fact that it's full of all sorts of things. It only cost me five quid in a second hand bookshop um, and it's heavy <laughs> uh, but it, it's it's great and it's well worth checking Stephen Jay Gould out if you haven't come across him already and thank you very much for watching and wishing you a very good summer weekend in the Northern Hemisphere. Thank you.